What's up guys? Today we are in Spitalfields for a spicy yum yum adventure. Brick Lane is this spot if you're looking for Indian curry and my taste buds are tingling in anticipation. Let's go! Wandering over Brick Lane, also known as Bangla Town due to so many good curry places, we opted for Aladdin as we saw brilliant reviews on this restaurant. I got some chicken tikka blast. It's a special take on Aladdin's restaurant of the chicken tikka. And I think they won a few awards with this uh, chicken tikka. Let me just try with the rice first. Mm. It's cute. With the little green and red dots and a little bit of yellow as well. It's a bit zesty. I don't know what they put in there. It's a bit greasy as well. I mean, it's a bit oily. Okay, add to the taste. I can get my hands on one of these big piece of chicken this huge piece of chicken Ooh. good chicken mm. not too spicy but sauce is very tasty mm. and for the spices it's spicy in a way that it's tasty but not hot and Lily doesn't like that but they have a lot of peppers mm. Mm, I love that no wonder they won a few awards with this, uh, with this chicken tikka Mm. Some nice garlic and cheese naan. Wow. Mm. Very cheesy indeed. I'm gonna try the naan bread with some of this beautiful sauce. Mm. So flavorful. It's very good Indian curry. Wow. Mm. Great food, lovely food. I've ordered the non vegetarian tali. To make it short, tali is the serving in one plate of several dishes within it. You have several small dishes, you have like some curry dishes, some lamb dishes, some chicken dishes, and some rice and naan bread. As you can see on this tali, it is really colorful, very nice looking, very pleasant to the eyes. You see so many colors, so many flavors, just from the looks of it, right? I didn't even taste it yet. But you can see all these colorful, and you can smell all the fragrance coming from it. Like, seriously, when the platter came over, I was like, oh. it smells just divine. You smell all the Indian spices coming from all the curry sauces. Even like the charred chicken smells wonderful. Being cooked in a clay oven, you can be sure the taste is gonna be pretty sure. Even the rice has its own fragrance. Very good. Inside my tali, I have several dishes, so let me introduce them to you. So I have here the lamb samosa. It's a perfect street food dish. Like, I mean, look at that. Okay, fair enough, I bit into it. But it was so good, I couldn't help myself. It's like the perfect street food to have around. It's like nicely shaved. All the flavor is condensed into that one. This one has lemons, right? I'm pretty sure some lots of nice vegetables. When I bit into it, the nice outsides of crisp, light. You can hear it as well, don't you? It's very tasty inside. The taste of the lamb is not too strong, which is actually a very good point. The flavor of the lamb is actually pretty nice. Mm, lamb has a very strong, strong taste and strong flavor. You can you can feel it if it's lamb. This one is really nice. I think the spices cover a bit of that very strong smell and only leaves like the good stuff. Next, I have the tandoori chicken with some onions and I believe these onions have been like marinated inside the spice because you can see they're a bit yellowish coming from the curry spice, most likely. Tandoori chicken is a chicken cooked in a clay oven. You can see all these charge and nice colors on the chicken. So you can see here, the yellowish onions. Mm -hmm. The color reminds me pretty much of a char siu, Chinese dish. <laughs> the chicken is nice, but I feel like it's a little bit dry. But I believe the curry sauce next to it should make up for it. So I feel like the chicken is a bit dry. So I'm gonna try to tune it up. I'm not sure if we can actually do that, but you know, saucy sauce. Huh? Much better, much, much better. Now that's a good chicken. Next to the two other dishes, I have two curries. One is a lamb madras and the other one is a chicken tikka masala. What's the difference between these two except obviously the lamb and chicken? 
So both sides are quite different, even though they look brown and orangish, kind of similar. But taste-wise, it's a completely different story. Chicken masala, just based on the color. I would say it's mostly based on tomato, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what gives this orangish color. I can taste some coconut inside as well. It is spicy, sweet, and very, very, how can I say, soft to the palate. You know, it's like a good curry. It has a lot of flavors in there. It's not too hot as well, just very, very tasty. But the lamb madras though, here. That one's a little bit more spicy. I think they're more spicy. But good kind of spicy. I love Indian spice. Like, even though you feel it like in your mouth, but it's a good kind of spice, you know, not the one that makes you cry because it happens sometimes. But these ones are oh, like nice kick in the mouth. And I really, really love this kind of feeling. The best way to eat this curry is to actually eat it with some naan. So my naan bread is really plain next to Jan's naan bread. His one has like cheese, has garlic in there. So obviously it's much more flavorful. Mine's more plain, but then that's a good, good reason because you need to dip that inside the curry. Now that's the best way to eat the naan bread. You enjoy both the sauce and the bread together. Much made in heaven, I say. The last dish I didn't mention is not really a dish, more like a condiment. So, in the middle of the tally, you can see this thing. You're like, ooh, ah! You're like, ooh, ah! <laughs> As I was saying, in the middle of the tally, I didn't mention that dish because it's not really a dish, it's a condiment. It is a condiment based with yogurt. I believe it's because of all the dishes are a bit spicy, it's good to have a bit of softer, a nicer feel to the mouth after the burn you feel. So this is why they have that yogurt based condiment. They have some, I think some sprinkle on top or some red, green, yellow, nice sprinkles. I can't really say what they are, but they look damn pretty. So that's it for today's Yum Yum Adventure guys, we hope you liked it. We enjoyed the food at Aladdin, the service was great, the food was fragrant. If you fancy some curry, definitely try one of the curry houses on Brick Lane. You can't go wrong with any of them. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace. <laughs>